Hi beautiful people, welcome back to our channel. Veteran Nigerian Afrobeat musician, singer-songwriter and percussionist, Lagbaha celebrates his 60th birthday today. And as the popular artiste marks his special day, we bring you 10 things you never knew about the ace singer and sewing writer. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Lagbaha achievement as he clocks 60 today. We say a very big thank you to everyone for your support by subscribing to our channel, and those joining us for the first time kindly click on the red subscribe button below to subscribe, thanks you. Lagbaha, born Bisset Alagund in Lagos, Nigeria, is a Nigerian Afrobeat musician. The first question that is often asked when Lagbaha is encountered is, why the mask? Basically, Lagbaja's mask is used as an icon of man's facelessness. Lagbaha is a Yoruba word that means somebody, nobody, anybody or everybody. It perfectly depicts the anonymity of the so-called common man. The mask and the name symbolize the faceless, the voiceless in the society, particularly in Africa. Once you see Lagbaja's mask you are reminded of your own facelessness. This symbolism is so powerful that Lagbaja's mask has popularized the use of the mask concept by other artists both in Nigeria and beyond though the concept was developed long before that, his first album, entitled Lagbaha, was released to national acclaim in 1993. Over the years and more albums later, the music continues to fascinate with its unique focus on a core of African drums. His music is a product of various influences ranging from traditional Yoruba music to jazz. Often the music is purely instrumental and interplay between traditional Yoruba percussions, drums, chants, and Western instruments, especially the saxophone. When there are lyrics, they are primarily sung in Yoruba, English or a blend of the two as is colloquially spoken in Yoruba cities. Many of his songs dwell on serious social issues, while others simply entertain. Some are dance-inducing while others pass serious messages in humorous ways. One thing that links all the songs together is his use of traditional African drums. Traditional Yoruba drums are the most prominent. Four families of these drums are employed in creating different grooves and moods. The Dun Dun, Gangan family is the most prominent and at times up to five drummers combine all the various components to create the polyrhythms. The Bada Ensemble is led by two musicians who alternate between soft high-toned driving rhythms with their Amal Bada, and thunderous loud talk with their Mum Drum Aya Alu. The general percussionist leads the Sakara Ensemble. The fourth family, used as the backbone of the groove is the Ogido, a derivative of the ancient Jibedu. The ensemble of drummers constitute the larger part of the band. Vocalists and Western instrumentalists make up the rest. Lagbaja's groovy fusion has been referred to as Afrojazz, Afrobeat, Higher Life and Afropop until now that he himself has christened the music Africano, alluding mostly to the central role of African drums and grooves in his music. In March 1997, Lagbaha established his club, Motherland, in the heart of Akeja in Lagos. Motherland's design is influenced by the traditional African town or market square, where people gather under the moonlight for ceremonies and artistic events like dance, music, storytelling, wrestling etc. True to this function, over the years, it has become a place for many comedians to polish their act in front of a demanding audience. With a serene gorge of beautiful trees and greens as background, the venue merges traditional Africa with the contemporary, creating the ambience of the countryside in the urban city. Lagbaha performs at Motherland, every last Friday of the month to a full house of faithfuls. Lagbaha is fast emerging in the forefront of contemporary African music, rich in the traditions of the continent while cosmopolitan in attitude. He has started to take his music beyond the shores of Nigeria, performing in festivals and venues around the world.